Hello vinyl lovers, uh, thanks for joining us. Wanted to show you some of the box sets that we got from the most recent collection we've acquired. About 5,000 mint condition albums from the East Coast in a private collection. I'm going to start with this one. This is the New York Art Quartet box set. This is an extremely limited edition. Only 665 were made. Comes in a wooden box. It's a 5 LP set with a beautiful book and some download stuff in there as well. We've got that. Another wooden box set. This is Joe McPhee. This is a 4 LP set from his years on CJR, 69 to 74. This is kind of a uh, jazz fusion artist of uh, some renown. Really neat guy. Lots of cool stuff there. We also have a 9 LP Black Sabbath box set. These are all of the Black Sabbath albums that feature the original lineup. And all of these are on 180 gram vinyl, and they all have the original Vertigo label on them. So all of the albums that you would expect are included in here. This is a wonderful set. It's available on our site now. Got a lot of rarer fare in here, including some more recent reissues. Uh, this is the Stark Reality a jazz fusion band that went from, I think, 68 to 75. This is their three albums. This is a Record Store Day edition. I think this is 2012 Record Store Day that this came out. This is a hard thing to find. Really interesting uh, music there as well. Some regular fare. This is Opeth's Heritage. This is a deluxe box set on colored vinyl. Comes with a great big book. Also in the deluxe box set packages. Uh, this is the Stone Roses first album. This has got three CDs and a DVD and three LPs and a huge book. It's also got a USB with all the music files that you could hope to find on a little lemon slice shaped USB that's in there. We have that. Here is some obscure stuff. This is a band called In the Nursery. This is uh, all five LPs of their career's output. This is a hard to find thing. Only 300 of these were made. This is hand numbered 139. Also in very rare fare, this is a Tuxedo Moon box set. Only 300 of these were made. This is hand number 28. If uh, you're familiar with Tuxedo Moon, then you probably know how rare this set really is. If you're not familiar with Tuxedo Moon, go check them out on YouTube. They're actually really a cool set. So a couple of really neat uh, collectibles that we have here. This is the Flaming Lips Zarinka. This is a 4 LP set that was done in Record Store Day 2013. Everything in there is mint condition. This is an original Public Image Limited Metal 1. This is not the recent reissue. This is actually the old one with the paper inserts between the 3 LPs and all tarnish and rust on the actual original metal cover. A couple other things that we have here. This is a very cool thing here. This is the label Arts and Crafts, a Canadian label. This is a label sampler, a 4LP set on clear vinyl. I haven't been able to find this for sale anywhere else. A couple other really cool things that we have over here on my cart. Here's a Pebbles box, a classic a proto punk, 1960s and early 70s proto punk. This is all mint condition. This is a great thing to have. Uh, over here, already out on the table, we have a lot of excellent box sets, and I'll point some of them out to you. Here's a fan club edition of Radiohead's Moon Shaped Pool. This is a Bee Gees Studio Albums box set that goes to 1968, so pre disco era Bee Gees. Kevin Gray uh, mastered that one. Really good stuff. Uh, Breeders box set here that was only available mail order. That's an excellent box set. Both volume one and volume two of The Dead Can Dance. A uh, bunch of things here. Thirteenth Floor Elevators, Music of the Spheres. That's the entirety of Thirteenth Floor Elevators. Dark Knight of the Soul box set. That's a collaboration between Danger Mouse and Sparkle Horse. Some Sex Pistols, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Some Minus the Bear up there. That's a very cool book style box set. Uh, maybe the coolest set that I have over here, if I can grab it, is from the band Illuvium. This is a hardbound and a linen book. This is a 7 LP set. Neatest thing about this is it comes with a library card on the inside that is, that is signed by the band members and the label. And they're dated and signed just like you would expect a library card to be. And then, of course, a really deluxe box set with a ton of artwork. Really a neat thing here. You don't see these very often. This was only uh, numbered to 1,000. This is number 594 out of 1,000. There is 
lots of stuff being added daily. Uh, by the end of today, we should have the entire fantasy set one from Analog Productions up here. This is a numbered fantasy set one. This is number 17, 25 sealed albums, number 17, one of our original subscribers that I acquired this collection from. And he had the foresight to leave this awesome thing sealed. And so I'm going to have that up on the vinyl vault very soon. And uh, you see all of this here, but there is a lot more. Again, almost 5,000 total albums. And we'll be adding them every single day. So be sure to go to AcousticSounds.com, the vinyl vault, and check the new arrivals. You'll see everything that Luke and I add that day. Uh, my name is Nate. If you have any questions, call us at Acoustic Sounds, 1-800-716-3553, or email me, nate, at acousticsounds.com. Thanks for watching.